Hey everybody, this is the Sliders Review and today I come to you with a really interesting video because I'm really curious. Did Riverdale ruin the acting career of Sarah Habble? Now, Sarah Habble, she played Miss Grundy in the first season of Riverdale, an extremely controversial character. Why? Well, okay. In the old Archie comics and cartoons, Miss Grundy looked like this. She was Archie's music teacher. Now, as we all know, when it came to Riverdale, the CW went for a more darker, edgier vibe to their show. And Miss Grundy, they decide to make her a 30-something year old music teacher who had a sexual affair with Archie before his 10th grade year. So it would have been around the summer after he just got out of like the ninth grade and stuff. During that summer, when they had that affair, they heard the gunshot that killed Jason Blossom, you know, Cheryl Blossom's brother. And so throughout, so she only appeared in five episodes in the first season. And those five episodes, people, well, fans of the show hated her guts. She didn't do anything mean or evil other than, you know, of course, statutory rape and everything. And when she was dating Archie. And I agree, you know, like anybody who's ever watched my channel and heard some of my older videos knows that I hate when older people hook up with younger people. I hate that. I hate that in real life and I hate that in television. It happens all the stinking time. It happened in Pretty Little Liars. It happened in The Wilds. It happened in Sailor Moon, a cartoon of all things. Like, it's just disgusting and it just makes real life older people think it's okay to do that when it comes to younger people and it's not and for the most part they glamorize that on tv to where the adults don't even get in trouble and it's supposed to be natural like in pretty little lives aria and fitz they dated for about three seasons broke up and then about two seasons later to get back together and then they get married uh, when they're adults. And the thing, the worst thing about Fitz um, is like he knew she was underage the entire time. In the first episode, he pretended like he wasn't. This is when the show was normal. When the show went stupid in the fourth season, it was later revealed that he's been spying on her and her friends because he was writing a tell all book about their friend that disappeared so he knew she was underage and he kept messing around with her anyway and then in the flashback it revealed that he messed around with one of her friends back in the past and he didn't know she was a teenager now that one he called off but the other ones he didn't and it's like they glamorized the crap out of that relationship and he stayed around for the entire series because of eye candy girls and women loved him to death where well, they didn't even really question an adult man dating a teenager but in the books that the show is based off of he gets arrested and leaves the book series and so all throughout the first season like i said in the five episodes she started having a sexual relationship with archie um and it happened his sophomore year now it only broke up because his dad fred found out and also alice cooper so when alice uh not allison but um alice so when alice and fred when they found out they told her straight up they promised not to go to the police if you quit this job leave riverdale and never see archie again and so she does that and her, now her character was supposed to last, you know, a lot longer than that. But, you know, it was controversial, like I said before. It was so controversial that they brought her back for the second season, first episode, where she's teaching still at another school. But this time she's in Greendale, where, you know, Sabrina Chilling Adventures is at. And she's teaching and messing around with another student named Ben Buttons. Late on at night, the Black Hood um, breaks into her house and strangles her. And so her character was that controversial 
that you know they had to not only write her off but you know fans still wasn't happy and so they had to like kill her off to make sure she never came back now one reason why i felt this might have ruined her career is because sarah hasn't worked since 2017 and riverdale came out in 2017 and both the first and second season were like back to back and it's like she hasn't had not one single acting credit since 2017 and the thing is is like she's only been acting for 10 years and she has a total of 20 credits you know 10 each from tv shows and movies and so it's kind of like i feel like she's getting blacklisted from hollywood because of that controversial character you know how it is with fans they can't distinguish between the celebrity and the character because a person plays a role that's so iconic either good or bad they just can't distance themselves from that role and fans will always see them as that and many celebrities have gone on air and gone online to say hey look i'm this person i'm not that person i played on tv or the movie you know and this and that and a lot of people get um typecast because of that and it sucks and i really feel that because that was such a controversial thing that you know and i believe that was around the me too movement too so you know that was really huge and it was around the time cancel culture started coming around and so it's like you know i truly believe she got like blacklisted from hollywood because of that people's all like okay we just don't really want to touch this actress no more because like not that kind of touch <laughs> but like hire her for anything because of such heat she got because of this role now there's one of three possibilities that's happening because she was a pretty good actress you know what i'm saying i don't remember too much about her but i remember she was pretty good at the role and she has a gorgeous look to her so i don't understand why hollywood wouldn't hire her but there could be three possibilities as to why she's not getting no work right now one maybe she's simply just retired you know what i'm saying I mean, it's a possibility you know what i'm saying second thing is maybe hollywood just wasn't banging down her door maybe they just felt that she wasn't that good at acting or because she was on like something like riverdale maybe they just thought oh you know that's for like kids and stuff like that or teens and then, like i said third third reason could just simply be she's getting blacklisted because of this controversial role now who are the fans that were outraged and like wanted her off the show and stuff well there's only one culprit i can think of women yes women and mothers they're normally the ones who get shows canceled or turn darker shows into a lighter tone it's happened for many 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 many, many years over time where you know a kid will watch something it's a little too dark they might be a little too scared the parent normally the um mother gets so outraged that they write angry letters causing the show or movie to become more lighter in tone and like further iterations let's see um what's that movie called? oh yeah the very first teenage mutant ninja turtles movie live action one that movie was darker in tone it had cuss words it had people dying um the turtles more grittier darker like they were in the comic books this confused people because they were used to the wacky cartoon in the 80s so what happened mothers complained about it and then in the second movie the turtles weapons well they don't use them at all except for don tell because he has a bow and michelangelo his weapons get taken away completely and it was more slapstick humor the faces in this the um the mask of the suits they were more childlike it had a whole lot more goofier childish tone to it than its predecessor and that was the result of some kids getting probably a little too scared or mothers watching and being like this is way too violent for my child so you're gonna like tone it down and of course they had to because they wanted to make sequels the batman franchise is another great example after tim burton made the batman returns just a little too creepy and dark i remember watching this on tv there were a bunch of little kids and their mothers 
not the fathers, the mothers, they went on to like a talk show. I think it was Sally Raphael or something like that. And they literally complained that the movie was too dark. It scared them. And so what happened after that? The networks decided to get rid of Burton. They decided to bring in another director and Batman Forever and Batman Returns was way too campy and lighter tone to where it nearly killed the franchise for 10 whole years. Now here's a cartoon you probably never heard of and one day I am going to review this as soon as I can find it somewhere online. It's called Lunatics Unleashed. Now this was a much, much, much darker action packed tone of Looney Tunes. Yes. Okay. Your Looney Tune characters you remember watching growing up and your parents and grandparents all of them watch grew up. They decided to make a um, post-apocalyptic show about some of their, not, not, I tell you the truth, it wasn't even their descendants. It just happened to look like them. Now other characters in the show, like villains, those were the descendants of the Looney Tunes. They had a darker, grittier, more action-packed vibe to them, kind of like a Batman Beyond type thing. And I remember... Now, the information on this got erased online because I guess the boy who complained about this got death threats. But he's a grown man now. So anyway, what happened? There was this boy. He saw the character designs of Lunatics Unleashed. The show hadn't even came out yet. They just showed the designs in the trailer. He, for some bizarre reason, got so upset about this that he wrote an angry letter. And this got out. And then, of course, when the show debuted, it had mixed reviews because a lot of the older generation who saw Looney Tunes thought this was way too dark and they did not like this and they did not want their grandkids and kids watching this. So by the second season, the show took a more lighter, goofier tone, but the fate has been sealed because it got canceled after the second season. Now, the first season was pretty solid. I remember the first season being pretty good, like some really good episodes and, and some really good action stuff. But I remember the second season just sucked. You know, and you know what's really bad now is that back in then, I, I don't even believe really a bunch of fans said this stuff, but they keep talking about how like it was terrible, that um, the WB is embarrassed by this, how so many people hated it. I'm gonna post a link in my description. It's the intro to Lunatics. A lot of people have changed their minds. A lot of people are saying this show was not that bad. It was pretty good and people don't understand why it got canceled. It's like, I, I believe those comments, a lot of those comments from the past were just from older people or they were generated by the um, network, just to save face. Even the 2003, Ninja Turtles series took a much lighter tone in the fifth season because the first four seasons was way too dark. And this isn't the first time like a bad script or a bad character has ruined like somebody in the acting world, you know. This has happened plenty of times and it's continuing to happen and it sucks. Um, DDP from WCW Wrestling was huge. He was huge. In the moment he came over to WWE, they booked him in this like stalker role where he stalked the Undertaker's ex-wife and fans hated it so much that he got written off TV and he really hasn't been like, like people just really just think of him as that creepy character and to the point where they hated like DDP and it just literally ruined his wrestling career. And he hasn't really been back in no big promotional thing ever since. And plus, you know, he's older and retired now. Italian-American wrestler Mark Capini, he suffered the most in his wrestling career, where he had to retire very early. He debuted in the WWE in 2004 and only lasted 2005. I believe he came the world champion. So, you know how Vince the man is. He loves controversy. So, of course, after 9-11, people started hating, like, you know, overseas people of Indian descent. So, he decided to create a character named Muhammad um, Hassan, who was kind of like this Palestinian, like, um, terrorist type character, right? And he decided to have Mark play that character. Now, Mark is not Palestinian, he's not Afghanistan, he's not from no Indian country, he's Italian, you know? And so, like, what happened was, 
he was such a controversial character by the time the 2005 London bombings happened they decided to pull him from the show they planned on bringing him back but that never happened the dude has not wrestled and okay, after he left in 2005 it took 13 years in 2008 just no not, not 2008 2018 <laughs> my bad i'm getting my numbers messed up yeah it took him 13 years just to wrestle again but for the independent circuit between that time of 2005 and 2018 he went back to school and became a teacher his wrestling career is literally over all because of that one controversial character Janelle white like when he played urkel it was probably the best thing in his life but it's also the worst thing people see him as that character and they don't want to hire him for anything else the actor who played oj simpson in the tv movie that aired on fox back in the 90s he has literally said that because of that one role nobody wants to hire him in hollywood no more and we can't forget about the black actor who played jaw jaw binks i mean that dude's character was the worst and because of that nobody will hire this dude for the most part for anything anything and it's like it's to the point where the actor contemplated suicide you know because he was getting so much hate for that character now i don't know sarah Habble's reason for um not acting again you know it could really be anything maybe she's just retired but i truly feel that riverdale ended that woman's career like if you ever go to her um instagram page you'll see she'll post pictures from like other acting gigs but she will not post anything from riverdale Alrighty, well i'll talk to y'all later bye